And I fell in love with this world Went my own way, just thinking me I made a plan on my own Trying to hide away from the light Before you created the stars You knew me by name, counting by you had a plan from the start to turn me around within my heart. Your love is chasing after me. Your cross will bring me home. Your mercy made a way for me. Your cross will bring me home. Jesus, you died for me, giving me everything. Forever I'll live, forever I'll sing, only for you. Jesus, you called my name, giving me life again. Forever I'll Forever I'll sing only for you. Now I'm a child of the King, righteous, restored, risen. Chosen to stand in His grace, chains all undone, abandoned in prayer. Oh, your love is chasing after me. Your cross will bring me home. Your mercy made a way for me. Your cross will bring me home. Jesus, you died for me, giving me everything. Forever I'll live, forever I'll sing, only for you. Jesus, you called my name, giving me life again. Forever I'll live. Forever I'll sing only for you. Jesus, you died for me, giving me everything. Forever I'll live, forever I'll sing only for you. Jesus, you call my Bled and you died, you gave up your life and thought of me. With love in your eyes, you gave up your life to set me free. You bled and you died, you gave up your life.
of love in your eyes You gave up your life to set me free Jesus, you died for me Giving me everything Forever I'll live, forever I'll sing Only for you Jesus, you called my name Giving me life again Forever I'll live, forever I'll sing Only for you Only for you Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our uh, daily devotional. Uh, myself and my wife, Albertiza, we are very happy to be hosting you. So it's amazing, another amazing day. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. Morning, Thank you, Lord, everybody. for this amazing week you've been giving to us. So let's just uh, 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 pray for what God will be speaking to us this morning. We have a, a Stevie Richardson sharing the word with us, and then Jack Elmore will be sharing a um, amazing uh, uh, worship song as well. So. You are very welcome. Good to have you here with us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this morning. Thank you for this amazing day, sunshiny day, opportunity for people to go out and, and do some exercise and looking after their gardening and just, just being outside, enjoying uh, themselves. I just thank you, Lord. I pray uh, asking you to speak to us through our brother Steve and also speak to us through the song Jack prepare for us. So we just surrender this morning to you and ask you to bless us. This is our prayer in Jesus name. Amen. Uh, just before just before we go for um uh, uh, Steve Woods, uh, just a reminder again, uh, I'm insisting on remind you if you need a prayer or you, you know someone who is in need of prayer, please contact one of the elders of Grosvenor Church. You can email Graham Paul, you can go to our website. If it's about you, you can contact your small group leader. Uh, just a reminder and uh, it re is really important to be covering everyone in prayer. I think uh, prayer is the most powerful tool God gave to his church. Okay, God bless you and see you later. Hello again, my name is Steve. Last week during these devotions, we were thinking about hearing the Father heart of God and I was using as an illustration the stethoscope which I used to use in my work up at the hospital and in community. Now this week I want us to take that a bit further. This time I want us to consider hearing the voice of God. And the verse I'd like us to consider is a very well-known verse from Revelation 3 verse 20. But I want to use the King James Version which for many people uh, is the easiest to remember from days gone by. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. 
Revelation 3, verse 20. That was Jesus speaking. And I wonder, have you ever missed someone knocking at your door and you just haven't heard them? If you have, and you can remember that occasion, I wonder why it was that you didn't hear. Perhaps there was too much noise in the house and you just didn't hear them. Perhaps you were distracted and uh, concentrating on something else. Perhaps you were asleep and perhaps, like me, you might be going a bit deaf. <laughs> Why was it that you didn't hear the knock on the door? And how did your visitor eventually get your attention? Perhaps it might have been the postman who was trying to deliver a present from someone else, or perhaps a really important message, and you were pleased that eventually you heard. Romans 3 verse 20 comes in the middle of a really interesting section. Uh, the two chapters, Revelation chapters 2 and 3, contain seven short letters to different churches in Asia Minor. And they are short letters from God to these letters, to these churches, and uh, they all end with a very similar uh, phrase which says this, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Those three letters give various commendations and warnings to the seven churches. They were important. Each of the churches was different. They had different problems and they had different commendations. During this time of crisis, could God be trying to knock on your door and say something to you? Are we hearing his voice? I used to be called by some Dr. Steve and uh, I had a bag of uh, diagnostic medical equipment. Last week we looked at the stethoscope and this week I'd like us to look at another diagnostic instrument that I used to have in my bag and this is an oroscope. It's simply a torch, a light, that enables the doctor to look at... Oh, the battery's gone. <laughs> but it should allow us to look into the ears of, in my case it used to be children, but in other doctors' and nurses' cases it may be that they were looking at adults looking into the ear canal to get a view of the eardrum. And it tells us the health of the eardrum. Does it look healthy? Nice and shiny and uh, reflecting back the light? Or perhaps it may be red and uh, scarred in some cases, showing that there had been uh, infection there or pressure behind the eardrum. This may be a reason why some people are not able to hear particularly well, because the eardrum is not healthy. The other thing it does is it enables us to see if there's any blockage in the eardrum, in the ear canal, stopping the air sounds getting down into the ear. Children can do strange things, can't they? And some of you may have taken children along to the A&E department or to the ENT department because of problems with children's hearing. 
Sometimes they put things in their ears. I've known cases of stones, seeds, peas, earbuds, all sorts of things like this. And these things, these foreign bodies, may get in the way and block the ear. In adults, it's more likely that we may have problems with wax that gradually hardens and makes it more difficult for us to hear the sounds that we should do. This uh, diminishing of hearing can be a significant problem for many of us. The medical term for eardrum is tympanic membrane and it uh, always reminds me of when I was uh, a teenager. I used to play in the school orchestra and I played the timpani or the kettle drums. Since then I've changed to lots of different drums to play. I've got one of them here. It's my, uh, they're my tom-toms. And the important thing about um, timpani or various drums is that they should be free to resonate and vibrate once they have been hit so that they make a clear sound. If the uh, drum itself is in some way impeded or uh, blocked, it doesn't make the same count sound of same clear sound as it should do if it is free to vibrate. Our eardrums are very much the same. They need to be able to resonate, to vibrate and respond to the sound that's coming in. They need to be unimpeded, not damped down and not obstructed. Have you noticed during this time of uh, lockdown that the bird song seems to be much louder? I don't suppose it really is, but there are fewer background distracting noises and so the bird song sounds clearer. These days of self-isolation and social distancing, I think, are an excellent opportunity to listen out for the voice of God. In Revelation 3 verse 20, Jesus stands at the door knocking. And he says that if we open the door, if we hear his voice, we respond to him and open the door, he will come in and he will share a meal with us. And normally meals are excellent times for communication for enjoyment and spending time together. Back in the Old Testament, in Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 20, Moses charges God's people, love the Lord your God, listen to his voice and hold fast to him. There's another verse in Hebrews, in the New Testament, Hebrews 3 verse 7, which says, Today, if you hear his voice, that's God's voice, do not harden your hearts. It's very important that we listen out for God's voice, that we respond to him and we do not harden our hearts against him. This is a very important time for us in this country and around the world. God can speak to us during this time. I pray that you hear his voice and respond to him. Let's pray. Father God, I ask that during this time of excellent opportunities for hearing your voice in so many different ways, you will grant us clear hearing that we may hear what you are trying to say to us individually and collectively, that you will grant us the courage to respond and we look forward, Father God, to seeing what changes there will be 
as we hear your voice and respond. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Uh, thank you, Steve. It's a good to have you here, uh, share with us. Uh, being a doctor and based on your own experience, helping us to understand a little bit more about hearing God's voice. It's amazing. Thank you very much. Also, again, Jack Elmore, thank you for the lovely songs you've been sharing with us daily. So, yeah, let's pray. And, uh, and uh, as we've been closing this devotional, uh, we're going to pray for uh, people who are getting connected with us on our Sunday morning services. And also people who get in contact with all activities we've been uh, doing on, online. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for Stephen message, which is uh, very encouraged, but also challenging us to stop, spend time with you, hearing your voice. Lord, I pray, ask you to speak to us, speak to our hearts. Also, I pray for you to speak to people who have been connected with us. People who are hungry, thirsty from, for you. I just pray, Lord, asking you, Holy Spirit, speak to their hearts and bless them. I pray specifically for Barnesville area. And pray for people who are here, our neighbors, uh, colleagues, people we have a contact with, and also people we don't have a contact with, Lord. I just pray, asking you to bless them and speak to their hearts, and they can hear uh, your voice when, you call, when you're calling them for the salvation, for experiencing Jesus. Yeah, this is our prayer this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. So, again, thank you very much for being connected with us, Obetiza. Yeah, thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hapa Stan. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much.